Hey everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Crate Customs, and today I have a quick tutorial for you that was a question on my Creating with Caesar, Julia and Romeo Facebook group. How do you add a print bleed to text that you've typed out and have turned into a print and cut? So I'm going to show you the steps that I did in order to achieve this. Print bleed is an option in software, so it creates a border of color outside of your design, whatever you're working with, so that when you go to cut, if the cut is off by even just a little bit, you do not have those white edges around it or whatever color the material is that you are cutting. So even if you have just a slight off cut on your design, it can help because that print bleed is there and shows as the same color as your object. Now there's many different variations with this depending on your design. You know, print bleed isn't gonna work on gradients where it's multiple colors, things like that. So it's really one of those things, it's dependent on what you're working with and what you're starting with. So you wanna get in and you just wanna play around with it and see what happens. So let's take a look at how to set this up. When you are working with text, for a print and cut, and I will link in the description below another video on how to turn text into a print and cut, but you're also gonna see it here. So you're going to choose your text tool in the bottom left corner, and then I am simply gonna use a bold font so you can see it. So I'm using impact and type out what you're going to use. I'm going to click apply and then I've been playing with this so it filled it with a different color. So let's just turn this into blue. And then I'm gonna increase the size of this mostly just so you can see this. Now I need to turn this into a print and cut. So my text currently, if I go to the send tab, you're going to see that my text is a cut only. It will cut out of any material I put it on my cutting mat and send through my machine but I wanna print and cut this. So I'm going to go back to my design tab, I'm going to click on the artboard cutting mat in the top right corner. My panel is gonna open up and I'm simply going to choose print and cut job. This is going to change the page size and I need to select what page size that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to choose letter and then I'm going to click on page marks and you're going to see those registration marks show up in the four corners of your page. Now I have my design here. If I were to go to the send tab right now, you can see it shows happy birthday there, but it is not, it's gonna show up blank. It is not a print and cut. I have told Leonardo Design Studio software that I want to set this up as a print and cut. So it changes it from a regular cut into a beginning of a print and cut. It's not quite there yet. So I'm gonna come back here and I need to give this print cut lines. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come down to build contours in the bottom toolbar. And then I need to tell it what to do. So this first one, I need to tell it that it's going to print and cut the logo. The blue lines around here are the trace lines around that. And in this case, I wanna choose include holes. So it cuts on the inside edge of my letters. I'm going to click apply. So now if I go to the send tab, what you're going to see is that I do have a printed artwork mat and I have a cutting contours mat. This cuts around the exact edge of my letters because that's what I told it to do. I'm gonna come back here to the design tab and then if you're using software version of 1.1.7, currently as I record this video, it is in beta public, which means it is still a test version. This next option is not available in previous versions of Leonardo Design Studio software. It is a new feature that was released in 1.1.7. To tell what version you are using, go to help and about, and it's going to tell you what version that you are currently using. The beta version is available on the Caesar website, and I will put a link in the description below for that. With my design selected, I'm going to come up here to edit, and I'm going to choose release cut contours. 
When I do that, I'm gonna show you what happens on the screen and then I'm gonna undo it. So I'm going to move this away. The blue is my print. The blue color is going to be the print. And this, when I move my mouse over top of it, it highlights in green. This is a cut. So if I click undo or control Z to undo, if I come back here to send design, you're going to see that it's still the same as it was. It's going to cut around my letters exactly. But if I wanna add a bleed to that, with my contour selected that I just released, I'm going to come down here to build contours. I'm going to choose editable contour cut only. And if you read the description here, it says this option will allow you to choose the color layers you want to cut out onto various media as a new curve shape. So I choose that. Then you're going to see this contour color pop up. I'm going to also choose however you want to choose the selections if you want the holes included. I'm going to increase my offset value and you would do whatever offset works for you. And then you can come down here to contour color and you can adjust the color on this. So you could choose a new color for your cutting contour. Now I'm going to exaggerate this a bit just so that you can see the difference. So I'm going to choose a different, but in, typically when you're doing a print bleed, you would have the same color or very, very similar to what the color is of your text. If your text is multicolored, then you may need to ungroup your text and do this in multiple steps. But if your text is all a solid color, then your print bleed could be a solid color as well. So I'm going to choose black simply so you can see it. So I'm going to select the black, click apply, and now you can see, and I'll zoom in here just a little bit. Now you can see that I have an outline around my text. So this is one way you could also create an outline that you could cut for layering your text, um, but it also works for a print and cut to give you a print bleed. Now, when I come over here to the send tab, let's take a look at how that looks. You're going to see that it's going to print out that extra color around my letters. But when I choose my cutting contours, it's going to cut the exact shape of that letter. So in my example, I chose two colors so you could see this on the screen. If you had the same color chosen, it's just gonna look a little bit blurry, but it's going to cut those exact letters and give you a little bit of breathing room around your letters when you're doing the print cut. I hope those tips have helped. Make sure to check out the description in this video below for more information and links to additional information on Leonardo Design Studio software, including another tutorial on turning text into a print and cut and print and cut information as well. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications if you'd like to be notified of future content on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.